Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Um, this is the first episode of 2019. Uh, hopefully everyone had a good uh, Christmas and New Year and all that fun stuff. Um, this is the, the first episode of what we're looking at is, is our next project. Um, I kind of want to show you guys some of the other things outside of the, the main arcades and pinball stuff that I do. Um, I used to be super into modifying fight sticks for people back before there was, uh, you know, things with Brooks and, and the Conba sticks that were dual modded. I used to go in and do a bunch of manual um, manual dual modding, taking the Xbox 360 pads, adding the MC Cthulhu by Tootles, that kind of thing. Um, but since that's really not really relevant anymore and most everything is, is now dual modded or triple modded or whatever, I want to show you um, the sticks that I just have decided to keep. Um, I've recently sold a bunch of my old dual mod stuff. I just don't really need it anymore. Most of the stuff I use now is, is on one or two sticks. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start by looking at my everyday stick that I use. Um, we're also going to be upgrading another stick that uh, one of my favorite sticks of all time. going to be putting a new PCB into it to bring it into uh, 2019. And then we're going to lead off with um, a big project that I've been working on for quite a while that will uh, probably take a little bit of time, but Hopefully it'll it'll be a future-proof stick, meaning that you'll be able to plug any kind of PCB into it going forward. But let's start by taking a look at this guy right here. All right, so this is my Razer Atrox. Um, originally, it was an Xbox 360 stick. Um, I got this when it was on super clearance um, on one of the Evo specials. They normally do stick sales, but I want to say it was sub hundred dollars back before the uh, the Xbox One and PS4 stuff came out. Um, but their main reason why I wanted this stick um, is because of this here. So it's a super nice stick. Originally it was eight buttons, but I really liked the quick release status of this stick. But we're going to come back to this in a little bit. I do want to kind of show you some of the custom stuff I have done to it. Um, originally, again, it was like a black and green uh, Razer Atrox kind of stick. Um, I think it was just black and it had like the Xbox colored buttons. I want to say gray or white. I can't remember exactly for sure, but... I did add, obviously, some, some custom Universal Monsters art here. Uh, pretty big fan of that era of, of monster movies, things like that. I have the uh, old Sanwa, I don't know if it's called Cow Top or Cow Camo or whatever it is. And then I got the Sanwa clear uh, green buttons. And then on the side here, we have the other green buttons. And on the back, we have a new trick, which I've added, trying to get it there. New trick with the little screws there. Uh, Makes makes portable uh, this stick portable. You don't got to worry about wrapping your cord up or tucking it in the back and all that kind of stuff. Um, in addition to that, I did put a new plexi on this stick. So this is actually an Art Hong plexi. I don't know if he still um, makes plexis anymore. Uh, back in the day, uh, back in the the Shoryuken forums and the Tech Talk forum, Art was one of the first people to make custom plexis for. Uh, uh, custom layout, seven buttons, eight buttons, or six buttons. I've always preferred to have six buttons here. Um, but Art laser cuts this. It actually fits with the original hardware, so this is all flush here. Um, but again, there's two holes underneath this, under the panel, but this is a solid piece of plexi with no holes or anything like that, just because I just wanted six buttons here, and I wanted my start and select and my, my home button on the back here. Um, but yeah, so these are the Samwell, Samwell buttons. They're clear. Samwell JLF, all that stuff is the same. Um, and then basically... You press this little guy here, it opens up the entire stick, and on the inside here, you can see that we have the Brook Universal Fighting Board, the UFB here. Um, we have our USB cable, it kind of stores here on the side. Uh, again, the main reason I wanted the case was this little pneumatic guy here, it holds everything up. You can keep uh, an extra button, or ball top, or bat top, whatever you want in here. It also has a little screwdriver. Not really that useful, but I just leave it in there, because why not? Um, but yeah, the main thing is this used to be, you can kind of see up here, it used to be originally, actually you can't see up there, let me move the camera for you. Up on the top you can kind of see the uh, little labels there. This used to be a uh, Xbox 366, so it had all those custom, you know, green, red, blue, yellow buttons, and then left button, right button, but now we're using the Universal, the Brook Universal Fight Board. So this is pretty much um, all in one. The nice thing about this board is it's actually firmware updatable, so every time Sony uh, comes out with new firmware and they, they kill support of it, within usually within a week or so you can plug your board in, flash the firmware on it, and it's good to go. Um, again, these are Sanwa buttons. One thing I would recommend is 
these are my first set of the clear buttons and I probably will never buy another set again only because they are the most brittle plastic I've ever seen um, using Sanwa parts for the longest time I've never really had an issue like this but I put these in this stick originally before I had the art on it pulled them out once and pretty much every button uh, the little tabs on the side snapped off and this wasn't three four five times this was literally one time um, so what I've done is on the bottom I just thrown a couple pieces of painters tape on it to keep them firm um, the buttons still work perfectly fine it's just more of you put them in you push the little tabs in on the side to try to get them out and they snapped um, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at the stick here and I'll kind of show you how I have everything wired up all right so digging in here a little bit more you can see here we have the Brook Universal Fighting Board just running a little USB AB cable to the new trick over there um, and then we've got our just standard wiring here so everything is on here with screw terminals um, fantastic little board absolutely love it the bottom of the Atrox case here has these weird like little hexagon uh, things and it was cool because the PCB feed actually just kind of screwed into them um, but yeah I've got that over there originally there was some LED lighting and stuff in the buttons I never set any of that stuff up just because I didn't really care enough um, but over here we have our two buttons and on the back we have our little home button which is kind of hard to see but again I, th I threw some tape on here just because they were so brittle but these are just standard Sanwa buttons with uh, 0.110 quick disconnects on it the JLF kind of tried to keep the wire uh, as clean as I could um, but yeah you know nothing fancy in here and then again the main reason I wanted the case was the uh, the art here or I'm sorry the um, pneumatic little arm here it's actually really good it holds that there so let's close this real quick i will take you in again just some custom art that I put on here you can see the reflection on my lights there but I absolutely love this stick it's my favorite it's got a really good layout on it super comfortable but just clean and simple and on the side here we have our two buttons and then on the back it might be a little hard to see but we have our new trick and then we have our little home button so that brings up your guide or your home and this is fully compatible with Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PC, PS3, PS4 um, so it's pretty universal so again this is my my daily driver I'd call it this is what I use for you know Street Fighter and all that fun stuff but what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna be looking at another stick that I have that needs to be updated and uh, we're actually gonna put the same PCB in it um, we're gonna be putting a brook into this little guy here so let's take a look at what we currently have and then we'll go through the upgrade process. All right, so as I'm sure some of you guys already know what this is, this is a uh, Hori Rap Premium VLX modeled after the uh, Vulux arcade cabinet, actually. I was gonna show you my control panel, but it's got a bunch of parts on it and I don't wanna look like a pig. But basically this is modeled after uh, the Street Fighter IV era Vulux. Um, eight buttons originally, but again, I gotta play with six. I can't have that, it just messes with me. But we have our start button over there. We have this over here. Now this stick I actually did rescue. Um, this was modified and cut and all kinds of crazy stuff. So you can see here it's got a little LED light plugged into it. And over here it's got like a headphone jack. I did not do any of those mods. This was how I got the stick. Um, when I got it, it didn't have any PCB in it. And it was missing a bunch of stuff. Um, I actually 3D printed a panel here. So this has two kind of recessed buttons here. Um, uh, start and select I believe or no I'm sorry this is start this is select and home and on the back here we have our other two buttons that originally were L1 and L2 um, but this currently just has a MC Cthulhu in it so it's PS3 PC that kind of thing um, but we're gonna be putting the brook into it so this is a little bit different it does have a little panel back here um, it does have our USB cable in there but there's also a little wing nut that you loosen up and this whole panel comes up so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and lift up this panel. We're going to take a look at what we have now, and then we're going to go through the process of upgrading this guy. All right, so what we're going to do on this guy is I've already gone ahead and pulled the uh, little uh, wing nut out of the back panel here. And what that actually does is it allows us to go ahead and pull the panel up. Um, so if we pull this up here, we can see what we currently have in here. So this is actually an MC Cthulhu. Uh, the board kind of sits over here right now. We have our USB cable going over here to the new trick that's USB. Now I also have an RJ45 new trick here, which is set up on the old MC Cthulhu. So for now, we will be losing access to that, but we are going to be putting this guy in. 
uh, the Brook Universal Board, which I believe does actually have RJ45 capabilities. Not 100% sure, but really I'm going to be using this mostly for, for USB stuff. So literally, what we're going to do is we're going to open this box up, which here I can show you the board. For those of you that have never seen it. And this is the board that I highly, highly recommend if you want to upgrade an old stick to play on current console stuff. Uh, it does Nintendo Switch, it does PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360. It's a great little board. I'm actually put a link in the description below uh, where I pick them up from. This way if you guys want to pick one up. But literally what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unplug this down here. These are all the inputs for the buttons and everything here. The joystick I believe actually goes to the other side, which is under here. But we're going to cut this out and then we're just going to match those wires up to these headers here. And we'll swap that out. We'll probably put uh, sticky PCB feet down. This way we can mount the board in there. But what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and pick this back up once this whole thing is taken apart and this board is then inside the VLX. Alright, so we have just finished up putting the Brook in here. We'll go ahead and open this up and kind of check it out. So here's the Brook kind of sitting where the old uh, MC Cthulhu went. As you can see here, I kind of, to the best of my ability, uh, with the tools I have here, went ahead and kind of zip tied everything so it doesn't move too much. Again, I have two buttons here. This is the home button, this is the select button. Two buttons on the back for uh, four punch, and four kick, and then we have our six face buttons, our JLF there, and our start button. So that's pretty much it for the VLX. It's all pretty much done. Again, I don't have the um, RJ45 set up yet. I'm going to probably look into buying the little header thing and running that back to this new trick here. So this is the USB new trick. That's the RJ45. So for now, it'll just be empty, but we'll look into upgrading that uh, in the future. But that's pretty much it for this. We're going to plug it in here in a minute. And update its firmware but I do want to show you guys one more big uh, fight stick thing that I'm working on uh, it's gonna take a little while but let's check it out all right guys so this is a uh, I guess I call it a dream project of mine ever since I've had my first candy cap which was a blast city I always wanted to have like an extra control panel to kind of use as a fight stick just because it reminded me so much of the uh, Sega HSS I think it's the 0130 the Sega Saturn stick but I never really had the heart to pull the control panel off of a Blast CD to kind of use it. So uh, eBay seller listed a couple of these. I actually have two, uh, but this is what I want to talk about on this episode. This is going to be a universal arcade stick for, for pretty much anything. So we're going to be pad hacking. We're going to be making it plug into JAMA harnesses for arcade stuff. But this was a completely disgusting uh, Blast City panel when I bought it. Kind of sanded as much of it as I could and did a quick uh, spray paint spray on it trying to keep everything even. This is a Repro Astro City panel with all brand new Sanwa parts here. Uh, I did clean the glass up. Again, this is literally right off of the Blast City. Um, but kind of what I want to show you is on here on the inside, I'm in the process of wiring everything up. But we're going to be using a real um, Sega amp up connector. So I have three there, the reason being the second stick of, the, of these that I'm building is a one player stick for shoot 'em ups. But basically, this stick will use the original harnesses, and then these uh, male harnesses will plug into these female harnesses. And then on the back of these, uh, we're actually going to have pinouts here. So these are going to go to DB15 connectors, and then every PCB that we hack, whether it's Sega Genesis or Saturn or Super Nintendo or whatever, will go to a corresponding DB15 connector on the pad hack. And then we'll simply connect a DB15 cable from this stick to the connectors to the PCB and then the PCB to the console and this will then work on anything. So we're not going to spend too much time on this, this is going to be a whole nother series in the future. Uh, kind of just waiting for some parts to come in to, to kind of really get into it. But I just wanted to show you um, basically where we're going to go in the future of fight sticks. I've had so many over the years, I've narrowed it down to the um, Atrox and the uh, VLX now that we're upgraded to Brooks. And then this will be my hopefully last stick I ever buy besides arcade panels. So as always guys, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you to all the new followers. I posted my, a link to my channel over on Reddit. So if you're new here, I do appreciate that. As always guys, if you have any questions on the sticks or anything that I've built in the episode, uh, feel free to comment below. And, and again, um, appreciate the follows and the subscribes, and we'll see you on the next episode.